smoke's gone. Yeah, smoke's gone. Gone. Feels like winter. And I don't really mind it that much. Kind of reminds me of Canmore when we were training in like October. And you wake up in the morning, it'd be so cold. But then you just train inside and life's good. <laughs> I think it'll be warm enough to drain outside around yeah, 10. Later, it warms up. But it is kind of nice because it forces us to swim in the morning while we wait for the weather to get warmer. Okay, we're moving super slowly after that swim, um, but we got a hard bike workout to do here. We actually have two things to do. We're gonna do our hard bike workout, and then afterwards we're gonna film a little thing for um, this race that's coming up in Bend. It's called the Solo Series, and the idea is like sort of Strava base. You like do a route that they tell you to do, and then you upload your time and the leaderboard, and then there's prizes and raffles. Um, anyway, that triathlon life sponsoring it, and we're making the course preview video. So it happens to be on our TT course, the only TT course in Bend, uh, Skyliner Road. Hi, Chris, we can do Jen. This one's heavy. Would start our bike ride, but gotta take these things out of the box. <laughs> They're heavy. Well, they're not the heaviest, but they're heavy. Thanks, Aaron. Uh, the workout we're supposed to do is two by eight minutes, 70.3 pace, two by 16 minutes uh, with equal recovery. There's something we could be doing, like searching for murder. Okay, that was maybe a little ambitious to think that we could film something for the show and also for the course recon at the same time and do a workout. But did the workout, had good numbers between 310 and 315 for me, so that was great. And we got the shots that we needed. So.
Unfortunately, this is gonna be a little bit of a shorter video this week. I hope that's okay. Um, just had a lot going on. We, we, we got back from the racing and everything and it was just like, I put off a lot of emails, <laughs> a lot of stuff for like the last few weeks we were getting ready to do worlds in um in xterra i've got a lot of catching up to do with ttl we're coming up on winter hoodie season long sleeve season it is thank goodness beanie season we got like so many things in the works like this the race that we're helping out with here in bend the apparel things might have our own event that we kind of want that we're playing around with if paula lets me do it thinking about hiring somebody to help us out with all of this it's really really exciting time so yeah, anyway, I just wanted to say this week's going to be a little bit shorter. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of the whole thing. And um, yeah, psyched for what's coming up. Quick thing on the solo series race that we're helping out with. We're not just producing the race course video. We'll probably post that on, on our channel later this week. But we're also donating some stuff. So we do have a 15% off discount. I'll put it on the screen somewhere. If you happen to be in Bend and you want to do it, and also, if you complete a challenge, you get entered in a raffle, and we're giving away some gift cards for TTL.com and uh, a free water bottle. Two per week. So, super psyched. This is what I've always wanted to do, be involved in stuff like this. And, um, yeah, like, online community is awesome, but doing stuff, like, in the local community and seeing people, just like everybody that we saw at the races in St. George and stuff, it's just, that, but, uh, that's just the best. Love it. Let me lift the flindo down. Lift the flindo down. Flynn's name goes with a lot of funny words. Like instead of saying Flynn's window, you say flindo. <laughs> All right, so should I talk about our day? Talk about this monumental, awesome, big day. Last week, I started my walk run program. In fact, so that I can return to running to do Oceanside in two weeks. So I'm currently up to one minute run, 90 second walk times 12. So 12 minutes of running, watch out Oceanside, I'm coming for you. But honestly, for me, I don't think I need to run a lot to run well. I'm doing a lot of riding, I'm riding super well. As long as I can get through the run pain free, I think I'll do good in Oceanside. So I always bring Flynn on these runs because I find when you're getting back from an injury, you tend to like solely focus on the injury when you're running and then sometimes it might hurt even if it doesn't actually hurt. So it's nice to have a distraction like Flynn to think about. Like, oh, where's Flynn? Instead of like, oh, is my foot hurting? So I am also incorporating the lever into this, which is the suspension on the treadmill that I used exclusively before Collins got. But I think it's, it, it's good and bad because you don't put any stress, or you don't put as much stress on like your tendons and your ligaments when you're running on the lever. So it's a good tool to use in conjunction with running on the ground and doing some walk runs, but using it 100% and then going to run on the ground, I think my ligaments and tendons and muscles just weren't used to the impact. So I injured myself at Collins Cup from just really not having like that loading. So even just doing 12 minutes of running here is like putting more load on my tendons and ligaments and whatever. And yeah, I'm not getting like a great aerobic workout out of this, but that's not the point. Cause I just like, I've already trained for five hours today, biking and swimming, so that's the idea. That's some alternating lever run, walk run, lever run, walk run. And then I'll get to Oceanside and hopefully not be as injury um, susceptible. I'm running three minutes easy. Traveling around the world, my people tell me where to go. I'm not afraid to step outside and see the world for what it is now. Spending all my time with people that I barely know. You may have thought that I was lost, but all I need is room to grow. Coming home to put a flower in your hug it, run it. Okay, I'm flipping. I'll see you back. No. I'd rather be instead I was gonna come drone you, but too fast. Well, I'm not too fast. Why is this pulling me along? <laughs> Flynn! Look! Good 
clock running dog. Nice job, dude. Good job. Was it good? It was fun. <laughs> All right. Clock running is stupid. Oh, I'm psyched. No, clock running is stupid. Better than not walking or not running. Yeah. Sign off. Later, folks. <laughs> See you next week. <laughs> Maybe I'll be running by then. Fully running. I'd rather leave